You know, I am staying in the middle of nowhere. Uh, off the road, as you may say. But I don't want to race off-road buggies. Oh, uh, no. Well, I already did it anyways. But still, it sucks. Hey, welcome to me. I don't know. Uh, welcome to my little video where, I don't know. It's a little quarantine progress, I guess. Just uh, hang around and take care of some challenges. Before I get started, though, um, please check the description below for a link that leads you to a site that has a bunch of other links to places where you can send petitions and donate on behalf of Black Lives Matter causes. Um, those causes are very, um, it's beneficial to more than just, you know, black lives. But, um, you know, why not, why not say all lives matter, all lives matter? Because, um, it turns out the, mo the sort of people that would say all lives matter, uh, would rather, you know, uh, beat cops to death with a fire hydrant and preach all that blue life shit. And, you know, they're just doing it because they're racist. They see black lives and they're like, no, oh, well, yeah. So, yeah, uh, do your part and donate and sign petitions for anything local. And on top of that, um, register to vote. If it didn't matter, Georgia wouldn't have passed those laws. And the sort of majority over in Georgia, huh? Well, I don't know. Those conservative nuts would be trying to take your chance to, you know, vote. So yeah, do that while you still can. All right, it's spring. And uh, as chipper as spring is made out to be. For the trial cup, like I said, I already did it. But after a few tries, it's off-road buggies. This really sucks ass. This is the worst. Um, as of this recording, they have April fooled me with this trial. Oh, man. I really don't want to do that, but that's what you got to do. Anyways, as you can see, we've got these. Uh, I know there's a name for it. It's one of these um cars with the wood paneling. It's just three of them. Ford Wagon, Morse Traveler, Morse Traveler, Morse Mini Traveler. Oh, yeah. Then, okay. If you, For this one, it's Rally, but if you got a Renault, it's specifically tied to Renault Megane. Megane, I don't know. Uh, my, my, my French sucks. And Street Scene Koenigsegg at 9.98. Like I said, well, you know. You could do this at 901, but I'm going to show you that it can be done at 998. Ooh, excuse me. Here are my difficulty settings. And manual clutch. I'm using an Xbox One Elite Series 2 controller with the paddles in the P1 and P3 position. I really got a burp. Uh, clutch with A. P1 to shift up uh, and P3 to shift down or... Downshift. There you go. That's the word. I've been saying shift down. Downshift. There you go. Um, let's see what else I need to take care of. There's the playground games between retro rallies. Please, you don't have to win this. You don't have to come into first place. Just participate. Take the L. It's totally fine. You'll get the prize at the end to contribute to, contribute to your festival playlist. And keep in mind, I'm still assuming that, you know, the Steam Buddies might watch this so yeah look at that all right let's get to it this championship sucks come rain or shine this spring seasonal will be fun trust me all right got this really ugly ccgt from conic seg I'm doing this later than usual because, I don't know, Xbox has been having a lot of outages and there's an outage in my neighborhood as well, so, yep, I don't know. S 
so Koenigseggs are very fast cars. They're, the majority of Koenigseggs are... Are... Um... Oh boy. They're hyper cars. But there are two cars that do not fall under that category. It's the CCGT and the Jesco. I assume that's the Jesco up ahead. Uh, it's the second car, the second red car. Sorry if you're colorblind, but uh, second red car up ahead. And yeah. The Jesco and this vehicle in particular do not uh, necessarily have the best top speed, but sure can maneuver. A lot of grip. So take advantage of that. Don't settle on the top speed. Settle on the confidence that you can hold down the accelerator and go up this hill. See? I mean, I kind of chickened out a little, but I was trying to avoid contact. But once you got it... You know, see, look at that. Look how far back they're falling. I didn't bother to check what the other two events are going to be, so by all means, I might be eating dirt in the next two events. But either way, look at that. It's a win. Oh. Rock on. That seemed easy enough, but don't. Oh, okay. So this track is definitely going to rely on top speed. So you want to make the most out of the first few corners. And if this is your first time watching my videos, this is the gist of things. I get very advice heavy at the very start because it's usually the hardest of the bunch. The first championship. I'm probably not going to talk a lot about driving semantics and all that stuff when the top speed is probably going to be at 110 uh, I'm squandering this alright because it is straight line speed they're definitely going to eat up uh Eat the road up. Oh boy. Because they're hyper cars, they tend to be heavier, so make the most out of these corners. Check those corners. Especially in this corner up ahead. Jeez, that car's fast. Yeah. There's a couple of corners up ahead where you could take advantage of, you know, their weight. But there you go. See, look at that. go too fast for their own good uh, it's not a good co-op vehicle though look how fast they catch up but look how much yeah just keep an eye on the bottom left jeez
keep in mind that you don't have to do this on unbeatable. You could still do this on highly skilled. No one's going to judge. If you're barely starting this game, don't kill yourself trying to beat it on unbeatable. It's just... And if you never played a Forza or eh, just a one of these semi um, sim racers, take it easy. Just don't, don't be too hard on yourself. It's totally fine. It took me a good four or five months before I started bumping it up to unbeatable. And I was in it. I was in this game for a while. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, see, the top speed in the hypercars are probably going to be about 250, 240 MPH. The top speed of this vehicle is around 220, 215. So straight line speeds are going to, you know, they're going to be at a disadvantage. Oh boy. Um, like I said, corners, corners, corners. And then on top of that, you got civilian vehicles on the road. Alright, unfortunately the CCGT from Koenigsegg is a little um, exclusive. I mean, I wish, yeah, uh, it'd be better if just showing you on the Regera, but boy, um, if you have the CCGT, take advantage of it. Won't hurt. And that's that. Um, you get rabbit ears. Happy Easter, I guess. Mm. Um, I'm not religious myself, but you know, happy to have a Friday off. Uh, yeah, I'm off tomorrow, so yeah, cool. Considering it's spring and we're in the UK, I can't guarantee good weather for this championship. What I can guarantee is that it'll be fun come rain or shine. So, this championship is just going to be Renault Magane. Magane. All the vehicles. Uh, well, this championship is kind of a strange one in the sense that you can participate if your vehicle's at C or B601. From B601 to A800. Thing is that the Magana with the lowest rating is this one at 666 so you can't dumb the shade down a little oh boy for something a little slower something a little bit with more control and just showing you know uh, but because this vehicle is at C or at B666 happy as happy Easter um there's a lot of room to upgrade to A800, so 
Taking advantage of that. Oh boy. Let him run wide. Alright. Oh boy. And then once you're up ahead, you know, get into a groove, I guess. Just uh, don't push too hard. Just. Yeah. Got a lot of room to upgrade, which means that you can upgrade to rally tires, but. You know. Sometimes you don't need the tires. You can just go with the default tires and be fine. It's. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's funny, just, uh, even with the tires on, like, this vehicle still feels a little heavy. I forgot to turn the weight down on this vehicle. In this vehicle. Yeah. But you probably don't need it. Um, the Renault can be a little thick, but if it's got good top speed, mm, why worry? Why worry? Oh, this one's a long one, though. Nope, oh, pardon me. Okay. Oh boy, what a week. Hey, Formula One just finished. Or, yeah, Formula One just happened. Hey, we're back in it. Oh boy. It was very exciting. Filled with, you know, a little bit of controversy, but what's Formula One without a little bit of controversy? And it's not the bad kind of controversy where, you know, some billionaire kid spoiled brat you know sexually violates a woman you know and still manages to get a seat just to squander it in the first three turns no nah, no nah, it's a it's a different kind of controversy uh, something about track limits you know um here here's what i mean say i'm gonna make a right corner a uh, uh, turn to the right and then see the green patch of grass just put my entire car over it. All four wheels, wheels over that green patch. You know, uh, is it fair? Eh. I mean, considering that, oh boy. Considering that this is co-op against unbeatable vehicles, eh, it's fine. Multiplayer, eh, it's sort of fine as long as you don't run into people. Um, I forgot to tune the brakes on this one. I'll do that in a bit. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't need to get into the details. Oh, boy. Just, uh... It's, uh... The card that was suspected to win, you know... Just uh, 
kind of shot itself in the foot a couple of times. It's it was kind of rough. And we're not going to have another race in, I want to say, two weeks. There was going to be a race next week, but unfortunately that's been canceled, postponed, whatever. It was supposed to be in China. But barring. Um, hell of a track. It's produced some... Pretty momentous okay or events. Not historical events, it's produced some pretty good racing the last couple of years. You have the Nico Rosberg and those Hamilton duels, you know. Those are nice. There's also the uh, the drama with Charles Leclerc debut with Ferrari and you know Two, three races in already. I forgot. I forgot if Bahrain was the second race in the 2019 season. It's just stomped Sebastian Vettel, who's supposed to be the big dog you know, in, in Ferrari. But unfortunately, his engine went kaput. I wonder why. Oh yeah, these brakes are killing me. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tune it in a bit. No, wait, wait, like, hmm, I wonder. Yeah, let me let me double check the tuning. Yeah, see I didn't mess around with it. Wow, oh, okay. Uh And these are all superstitious numbers. It's just uh Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's give this a go. What's next? We got one more, one more. Oh boy, that's a long one. We're gonna go a little long today. What stinks though is that that Xbox outage has just been murderous, murderous. All right, here we go. Hopefully this tracks better. Okay, this feels a lot better now. Oh boy. And to be honest, I don't know why I go with those tire pressures. Like, whichever side the engine is on, that's the side that gets the 21.5 PSI. So if this was a rear engine vehicle, uh, the back wheels would have gotten the 21.5, and the front wheels would get the 23.5. But. Like I said, it's all superstitious. I saw those numbers uh, in a in an article about Formula One cars, and my stupid brain is like, "Whoa, if Formula One cars do it, that means it's the best." So yeah, don't. Don't do as I do.
Is there really going to be a train passing by there? And the reason why I turned down the brick pressure is because I'm a button slammer. I'm very aggressive. Ah, very aggressive with the buttons. And I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, but that's just me. Oh boy. Too ambitious. Yeah. Oh boy. So I know this is old news, but boy. Um Microsoft buying Discord, huh? Uh I mean As long as go they go through the Facebook approach and just leave it the fuck alone. I mean, I know Facebook has mandatory integration for the Oculus Quest 2, but oh boy. I wonder if they're just going to roll Skype into Discord because Skype is such a... I just don't know if Skype ha holds a stronger hold in the public perception as much as Discord. Discord just seems like, oh, that's what the kids are using, you know, but... I gotta ruin my small business, and I'm gonna do that, do that through Skype, and then Zoom came along, and then, you know, just RKO'd every, everyone's efforts. How did, how did Zoom be, Zoom out of all places, why, why did Zoom become the de facto quarantine web thing? I'm not a businessman or anything like that, you know, I'm not, I've never touched an ounce of data entry or anything like that. So, I don't know, I just wonder. Cool. E. All right, that leaves us with the oldies. D five hundred. Ah, oh, spring. The season of new life and new beginnings. Oh, and new championships, of course. I wanna say that this vehicle is available for purchase, so without the need of a DLC purchase, so yeah. That's why I went with it. I think. I think. Morris Traveler definitely has to be earned. But this vehicle... Uh, yeah. It'll be alright. It's D500. There's no need to worry about brakes or anything like that. Just, uh... Make sure your vehicle's fast. Simple as that.
Because what's funny is that at this speed, even if your vehicle moves like a pig and shit, uh, you're probably going to be all right. See? Who cares about grip and brakes? Everyone's just too damn slow to catch up. And I just noticed the reflection on the vehicle. That's real nice. I mean, it's a little pixelated. You know, it's a, it looks like a PS1 game. But, yeah, it's still nice. Ah, it does. I like the graphics on it, though, to be honest. Like, if you... The reflection at the back of the car just... It reminds me of a PS1 game. Boy. That looks cool. Also reminds me of, um... What's the name of that game? San Francisco Rush? Oh, it just looks so crude. Alright, um... Let's see. Yeah, uh, I got to thinking about building a new PC as well. It's 2021. It's... It's every five years, I guess. You know, just a... New PC build. I learned something new with this one. And taking what I know about this one into account to build my new PC. But I'm just going to say this. I'm going to punt that idea to next year. It's just it's just not fair, damn it. You know? It's unfortunate, but it has to be done. And the parts I want are available. It's just that, well, except for the GPU, obviously. Everyone's going after a GPU. I don't believe it's the Bitcoin miners because... Meh. I want to say it's just PC builders. Or it's just the public in general. Everyone is stuck at home. No one's doing shit. It's the reason why the consoles aren't... You know, available is because everyone's just stuck at home. All right, let's buy a console. Let's do this. Let's share this as a family, even. Like, that totally outweighs whatever crazy Bitcoin pie in the sky, you know, machinations certain people have. If people are at home and they got nothing to do, damn it, they're going to build a goddamn PC. I would. I want to. I'm dying here, damn it. But, um, yeah, just probably going to do that next year. It's a bummer. Thought I was going to do that till the, thought I was going to do that till the end of time, but doesn't seem to be the case. <clears throat>
just the sprint. And because we got no grip, and because there are no civilian vehicles, I mean, this is, um, this track, um, starts around the same spot as the Koenigsegg racetrack, or sprint. It was the third sprint that, in that championship. So, eh, eh, you know, what, what gives? I'm driving here. go I recently got to play Mario Kart 64 on an N64 it's been a minute I uh not gonna say I forgot a bit but I mean uh, Out of the four races in the Special Cup, I'm very bummed that I didn't get to come in first place in Banshee Boardwalk. I got second place, but still. It's, uh, and this was against AI. Um, once Toad gets in the lead, Toad's gone. Fuck Toad. Toad sucks. Um... Doink. Mm. I can imagine which track is next, but I'm not going to make any assumptions. But I just did. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, damn, Mario Kart 64. Love that game, but yeah, it's filled with some bullshit. There's just some parts in that game that's just total bullshit, and don't know how to feel about that. Well, it's bullshit. There you go, but... Yeah. Is there a good nostalgia for some old bullshit? Like Toad getting in lead, it's like, yep, there it goes. And you know exactly when it happens. And this is at 150cc, so... There's also the, um, there's also that bullshit in, what's the name of that mission? Medio, Mateo, Medio, in Star Fox 64, when you try to go through the warp and you're spinning, not uncontrollably, but you're spinning fast. And then you miss one of the warp, uh, Warp gates. Oh. oh boy. it wide okay there you go yeah it was nice playing that it's been a minute but um yeah I don't know it's uh I feel like Forza Horizon 4 has definitely made its mark in my life it's just it's just here and ready to give me a new championship to Messing around with. I feel like that's why I 
what um what made me so brutal at Mario Kart 64 is that I had to I didn't know it at the time but I was just making up metas for myself it's like okay well in the mushroom cup you got a track that's related to Luigi and a track that's related to um um Bowser kind of kind of Koopa Troopa Beach you know if you want to go by its classic name King Koopa or I don't know if that was an American name I don't know why the, the difference in names Bowser and King Koopa but either way I would try to beat it at 150 as Luigi and then 150 as Bowser and then just yeah do the same for the other championships <laughs> yeah. and that's that not too crazy well it was a little crazy at the beginning but if you got the vehicle then yeah it's doable if not then you might have to handle it with the regera i know the agera rs is available but you can't change it to all-wheel drive, so it's not beginner-friendly. And that stinks. Some gatekeeping bullshit, but... Eh, there you go. Anyways, um... Thanks for stopping by again. There isn't any... There aren't any new vehicles for this season. Um... So, yeah, that about does it. What you see is what you get. You know, the Easter Bunny suit and all that crazy junk. It's none to none to write home about, but, you know, if you want to complete the playlist, you, you're going to have to. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, Like I said, you know, check the description below and click the link to a website that has a bunch of other links to places hopefully local in your area places that you can uh, sign petitions for and to donate to on behalf of black lives matter causes um and to register to vote because they're really clamping clamping down on that so for some weird reason you know um you know for some for a party that it's called the grand old party they are they do seem to treat their loss like uh petty little brats so yeah yeah. Uh, and with that in mind, um, please wear a mask. Please sneeze in your mask and cough in your mask. Don't pull it down and sneeze and cough. That's not the point of the mask. The point is to keep it on. Uh, use hand sanitizer when you can. Use latex gloves if it's available to you. Um, go out only when you need to. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, I'm I know you're I know you're tired of hearing this but I'm sure you got cabin fever or something you know just stuck at home all day that sucks but you know it oh look at the shadow on that um yeah just uh and the reason why why it does it that way is because of the frame rate because if it does a smooth thing it's just gonna yeah anyways yeah order food for delivery um when you can if it's available to you and yeah most importantly take care and be safe peace